Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Elixo. Today, we're going to be covering how Typeso is literally speedrunning its own downfall. And it really does suck to say that, especially as one of the top creators for this game posting every single day, bro. We've almost been posting for 200 days straight, and majority of the content has been Typeso. So it's really sad to see it go out for the third or fourth or fifth time whatever we want to call this bro but unfortunately it looks like the developers are just not locked in on the right things bro they have to take after the community they have to take after what the people want instead of adding stuff that nobody in the world asked for i promise you nobody went hey man um uh, maybe we should do a wish orb thing and it should wipe the people and stuff and we should focus all of our attention on that and do a stage on it that nobody will care for besides the people who don't play the game so honestly it is a really bad takes for the game bro i obviously want to see it do good i've been posting content on this game i've met a lot of you guys through this game so unfortunately it has been doing it really bad recently there's like 5,000 players on it'll probably be at like 3k tomorrow i wouldn't be surprised to be honest i am not going to call this a hate video i'm just going to be covering and giving y'all the news like i always do bro trying to give you a variety of content but if you enjoy smash that like button subscribe to the channel and go ahead and comment your thoughts down below on what you think how the game's doing how the developers sold the bag because i know it's just not me bro i've seen types of gen i've seen dms bro a lot of people are actually upset with how setra and the team are taking this game ever since the re-release so as you guys already know, they shut down the game for three weeks. We thought we were going to be getting a huge update. We did a couple interviews, a, a couple talk times, whatever you want to call, with Setro, with Lonre, with a bunch of other developers. And it sounded pretty promising. We were getting Battle Royale, we were getting Dungeons, we were getting new races, which people thought were full bringers. But it ended up turning out to be the hybrid races that are now out, like Anomaly and shit. And unfortunately, the Halloween event was garbage. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares about the ectoplasm. Nobody cares so much that they dropped a code and gave us the most valuable thing in the entire ectoplasm shop for free, bro, through a code. So obviously nobody cares about this stuff a bunch of developers stepped down a bunch of developers ended up giving up on the game unfortunately they're probably making a lot less money than they were originally making before but it's looking like the game's gonna die again there's no transparency developers aren't telling people shit they aren't telling content creators nothing they're not telling the public nothing and for about two to three weeks now three ongoing weeks we have not received a single actual update they've added little shit they've added little balancing changes and things of that nature but i've also been told that lawn ray and wind wake are also not working on dungeons anymore so we're fucking cooked with that there's just a bunch of downsides to what has been happening recently i don't know if they got laid off or what happened but it's looking really bad i don't think we're getting dungeons next week i don't think we're getting dungeons the week after that as far as i've been told it is just a empty map with absolutely nothing inside of it so i'm not sure what developers are working on what but i do know that we're getting nelvarez i do know dungeons will come eventually if the game survives that long and it really does suck to say i'm not going to i'm not even trying to hate on the game just if you guys see the statistics how many people have actually been playing the game since re-release to now bro i think we had like 40 60k on release it instantly dropped to like 24k and we saw right below 20k instantly because of how shit the update was how bad the lag was how bad everything was they just spawned in a bunch of new bugs nobody liked ranked nobody liked anything and then we had some insane ass requirements in order to get the hybrid races but hey bro i don't know i've tried talking to developers i've dm developers and stuff and people still remain uh really vague and not really talking about anything and i'm pretty sure it's because they don't want stuff to get leaked but at the same time they don't want to get exposed for not having anything so they don't even want to mention if an update's not coming out or mention if oh we're like we might delay the update or we i mean there is no update coming i'm telling y'all that right now it's looking like we're not getting anything this week unfortunately maybe they'll push out like one element or something like that but if it's just for one race people are gonna hop on roll for the shit if it's a mythical or whatever and then get off the game it happens every single time bro hopefully we do get some actual content though as far as dungeons like i told you guys it looks like uh they laid off the team that was originally working on it at least that's what i was told directly um 
we just have to hope at this point bro it's looking like the game might die for the third time for the fourth time fifth time whatever you guys want to call it you guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section though um do you think the game has been doing good since re-release do you think it would have been better if they didn't release the game at all and just kept it under wraps until hellverse dropped because at this point we waited three weeks for a crazy update just for after the update we have three weeks of no updates so it might as well just have stayed shut down i think they just really were money hungry at that point or whatever it may be and they rushed it a lot because of paradox and things like that probably scared for them to take over but hey bro there's only so much where we can't know the entire story because they don't even explain or speak with anybody so it's just up to the fucking imagination bro hey man i'm really just trying to hit that 200 day streak bro a lot of it was really going on quality 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 but hey bro if we don't have anything to post in this fucking game what can i really do besides give out some build videos and just talk so it'll probably be a lot of commentary uh content uh, from here on out unless i do hop on another game if you guys would like to see me hop on another game go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below as well i'd love to play something else but it's a matter of the viewers if you guys will watch me play battlegrounds then screw it i'll post battlegrounds if you guys will watch me play deep woken then i will post deep woken that's just how i'm gonna roll for this channel but i'm gonna go ahead hit my eight minutes and catch this bag bro smash that like button subscribe to the channel um I'm gonna catch up boys man at 30,000 subscribers y'all already know the deal 250 custom accessories out to you boys if the game survives by then um yeah man as always it's your boy Yulixo peace whoa 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 250 and 10 what am I looking at for my first game chat hold on bro not what I signed up for What is going on though? No, oh, that's actually insane, bro. Crap. Is bro trash? I must have got fed these. Oh, that miss! No, what are we doing? I hope he took that. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Alright, we're about to get our left in. Wait, bro's actually ass. Alright, let's pop. Here we go!